love making succotash. And what I love even more is going to the farmer's market to shop for the ingredients. And while this dish has been known to be associated with Southern cuisine, it actually has a firm rooted history in Iroquois villages and other indigenous communities. This is also known as the three sisters. It's because the beans, the corn, and the squash literally support each other as they grow up out of the ground. How amazing is that? I also love it because it reminds me of my favorite three sisters, my grandmother and her two younger sisters, who actually taught me quite a few variations of this dish. Today, I'm gonna to show you a test kitchen version using red bell peppers instead of squash. We're gonna start with four ears of corn. So this is a trick I learned in culinary school. This is how you cut the corn from the cob. You put a small bowl inside of a bigger bowl, you've created a dam. It also keeps you from hitting your knife on the bowl and saving your blade. So for this recipe, you don't wanna cheat by using frozen corn or canned corn. Use fresh corn. It's gonna give you the best tasting succotash. All right, we're all set. Now we're gonna cut our red pepper. We only need half. So I've cut out the core and removed all the seeds from the red pepper. Slice the pepper into quarter inch sticks and now I'm just going to cut it crosswise into quarter inch squares. And I'm just gonna do the same with the other side of it. Now it's time to rinse our beans. I have here a mesh strainer over a bowl. We're actually reserving the bean liquid because we're gonna add it to the succotash for a silky smooth texture without altering the flavor. All right, so I'm gonna set this on the plate. And I'm gonna measure out two tablespoons of the bean liquid. So now we're gonna rinse these butter beans under cold water and then we're gonna start cooking. Okay, so I have a 12 inch non-stick skillet here and I'm melting three tablespoons of butter. We're almost ready to start cooking. Soon as the butter's melted. Butter's always a great start. All right, so I'm gonna add one onion finely diced and our half of red bell pepper that we diced a quarter of an inch. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm just gonna let it cook for four to five minutes. You have to stir it frequently until it's lightly browned. All right, our onions are looking brown. Now I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic pressed. So we're adding the garlic now because if we add it too soon, it'll burn. And I'm also gonna add a pinch of cayenne pepper. And I'm just gonna cook it all for another 30 seconds until it's fragrant. All right, it's been 30 seconds. The garlic and the cayenne pepper are doing their thing. I'm just gonna turn the heat down to medium and I'm gonna add the butter beans. Okay, so now I'm gonna add our beautiful fresh corn. This is four cobs of corn or three cups. This smells so amazing. For it to just be some very simple ingredients, fresh corn, red peppers, onion, garlic, and cayenne, and butter beans, my favorite, it's outstanding. All right, I have everything in the pan. I'm just gonna let this cook for about four minutes, stirring frequently. Okay, we have two last ingredients. We have two teaspoons of lemon juice for brightness, and finally, we have the liquid from the butter beans that we reserved. This is gonna add that silky smooth texture. All right, so I'm just gonna let that cook for a minute and then get it over to the table. I'm just gonna finish off with a little parsley. Give it a good stir. That looks so summery and delicious. It's always worth a trip to the farmer's market. I'm gonna give it a taste because I do not serve food without seasoning. Wow, that's good. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper though. Perfect, I think I'm gonna serve myself a little helping. This is a guilt-free meal. You can have as much of this as you like. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. That's so crunchy, bright, and delicious. I'm so glad that I didn't cheat and use frozen or canned corn. This fresh corn off the cob gives it a nice crunch. All the flavors go so well together. I can see why it's called the Three Sisters. They just belong together. If you wanna make this amazing succotash, first you have to use fresh corn on the cob. Second, you have to reserve a little bit of liquid from your butter beans. So from America's Test Kitchen at home, a summery succotash made with butter beans, corn, and red pepper.
Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.